It's travel season in our planners. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I am working on two custom planner spreads, both that have a little bit of a travel twist. We have Aidy who is about to celebrate her birthday and she's hoping to celebrate her birthday in Disneyland. I can hardly imagine a better place. So we're going to give her a Disney themed birthday spread. And then sweet Denise has a family reunion coming up. They are going to be in a log cabin. So I pulled out adventure calls, which I haven't really used very much at all, but I think will be fun to grab. Plus I have some extra stickers that I'm going to include as well. So I will link everything that I use down below in the description box. Otherwise, I'm going to put you all on fast forward. Let's go. We are going to start with 80s birthday spread. And I love a good Disney spread. I especially love a good Disney themed spread. I feel like it's actually been a while, a hot second since I have done a Disney spread. So I'm excited to create this one for 80. We're going to celebrate uh, a trip to Disneyland because how fun is that? At any age, I think that's a great way to spend a birthday. I'm starting out with some washi tape. This is actually from No White Space Stickers, who is a fabulous resource for all things Disney. Um, I definitely recommend checking her out. She has some great illustrations, great stickers, great washi tape, uh, postcards. I love, I love so much of what she has to offer. So I have some washi tape from her that is the Mickey Mouse birthday balloons, which I think is adorable. And that is going to kind of set the tone for the color scheme of the page. I want to go with black, red, pink and white, which maybe isn't a typical color combo for Disney, but that's what we're going to embrace in this particular spread. Yes, a little bit of blue is going to sneak in with Minnie's dress, but that's just how it's going to have to be for this particular spread based on the stickers that I have. So we're going with the first week of April. I wanted to use these little mini Mickeys. I love the reactions for all of the illustrations in the Mickey sticker books. These are some older ones from the Happy Planner. Um, I think it's Magic Plans and Mickey and Friends, something like that, are the books that I'm pulling from. We're going to put some little Mickey Mouse illustrations up here at the top. Again, kind of balancing out all of the washi tape at the bottom. And we have our dates. Now we've got to put Minnie on here as well. I am going to use my sticker guides because the boxes that I am using are not necessarily intended for the lined vertical. You can use any box in any spread. There's no rules, but some of these are very elongated. Um, I think they were actually intended for like a dashboard or a teacher planner, something like that. Um, but I do love the illustrations on them. And so we're going to layer them with a few pink boxes from Mojo Jojo plans. Guys, we're using like all the books on this because I'm also going to be pulling in Live Love Posh to give it a more birthday-esque feel. So this may not be super Disney land. It's definitely going to be Disney themed and there's definitely going to be a birthday feel. Um, but in order to accomplish that, we're having to combine all the different boxes, all the different sticker books. One of the things that made me really fall in love with creative planning was the ability to create these planner spreads where you could celebrate certain moments in your life, but in your planner. And I think traveling is one of those things we all look forward to it. We all love uh, getting the opportunity to travel, whether it's a big trip or a small trip or just a special activity, getting to celebrate those moments um, in something that you are in every day, like your planner, um, I think is just a wonderful way to a bring up bring about your creativity and to really focus on those happy moments in life. So we got some balloons from the Live Love Posh Posh Party sticker book. We're going to have Minnie holding balloons right here. She's going to be standing on top of this big pink box layered with the red box. We're kind of boxing in Minnie, if you will. 
lots of places to write. The lined vertical spread, it's an interesting spread. I think um, this probably, because of how I'm placing the boxes, this is probably going to be a little bit different than how Aidy normally uses hers, which is a little bit more vertical. But since it's a birthday week, I feel like that's a great time to get out of your comfort zone and just have fun celebrating um, all of the fun plans that I hoped that she has going for this week. I chose this sticker, This Year Looks Bright. That feels perfect for a birthday week. Love Yourself from uh, from Bow to Toe. That also seems great. And then Chase Your Dreams. All of these inspiring words for a birthday um, are fabulous. Okay, we do need, I'm trying to figure out what I want to put over on the left hand side. Usually I like a, lo a long sidebar sticker. You guys know that, but I didn't really have any that were in the pink color that I wanted. So we're going to bring in Mickey. I'm imagining that he's singing happy birthday. He's going to go over on this particular box. And then I'm going to bring in a red box and have a little Minnie Mouse sticking um, on it as well. You'll see that come in in just a moment. One way to really embrace a specific theme is through words. So we're going with a few of the birthday words in the back of the Live Love Posh sticker book. We have Let's Celebrate and Happy Birthday, obviously setting the tone. The balloons, I think, definitely give that celebratory feel. And then I love this big cheers. That's fabulous. I'm going to use a sticker guide because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make certain things fit on this page. There's going to be a red box. We're going to have a little, little mini sticking on the red box hanging out for an extra little to-do list over there. I think there's going to be lots of places to write. It might not be quite as vertical as AD normally utilizes the spread um, as far as like to-do lists and things like that, but there certainly is a lot of functionality to the spread. Sometimes you just have to shift things ever so slightly and look, another little space for a mini to be peeking out from the side. How cute are those? All right, I'm going to bring in some stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. She has some great functional stickers. I put top moments there at the bottom. I actually ended up moving that later on to go right under um, Mickey Mouse and then a little extra to-do list. And then I wanted to put some of that same writing over on the right side for balance sake. So I have this one that says get it done. I tried to figure out how to get it down low over here. That didn't quite work. So actually, I'm just going to add another box in an extra little task box right here so that can highlight another important task for the week. And then we got to bring in a few more birthday moments. So I have um, an extra present. We're going with, again, bringing in the pink. We'll layer a present under here. I thought Minnie and Mickey over on the left-hand side could be gushing over the little cupcake. It looks like Mickey's about to blow out the candle in the cupcake. One more cupcake over here. And then Minnie gushing over one last present. And that's going to be it for 80s custom spread. Let me know what you think down below. I think it is fun. I think it definitely says celebration and I can't wait to hear how she likes it. Next up is going to be Denise's spread. Denise uses the big size planner. She said I could choose whatever layout I wanted. So I decided to go with a dashboard layout um, because if it is a travel week, I feel like that lends itself to lots of lists. Lists like packing lists, uh, shopping lists. They're gonna be doing a log cabin stay as a family reunion, which sounds fantastic. Um, so maybe a shopping list for groceries or meal planning or activities, things like that. So um, I think a dashboard really lends itself well to that. I actually found some images on Canva. I looked up log cabin and got some cool log cabin scenes that I wanted to include. And then lots of woodsy scenes that I thought would be fun in the background. And I'm using those to set the scene um, as part of the background. And then I will be able to nestle some functionality around um, those scenes that are already there. I'm combining the printed stickers with stickers that I got from the Time for Adventure sticker book. That's a fun thing to do for traveling purposes or for travel spreads. It's great to be able to print out very specific stickers. So going to a place like Canva, looking on Etsy for um, wherever your destination is going to be, whether it's an international, maybe you're going to Paris, maybe you have a big Australia trip or even a local one. Maybe you're doing a staycation and you want to concentrate on like movie week or you're doing a camping trip, something like that. Getting very uh, specific stickers and then combining them with a more general travel theme can be a really fun way to bring the spread all together because there's very few sticker books that are going to have super specific travel themes. Uh, Rong Rong has some. Happy Planner has a couple travel sticker books. A lot of it is focused on the functionality of it. Um, so 
hitting some of those specific ones for your destinations, whether it's, you know, Texas for go wild, or maybe you're, you know, I don't know, lots of fun destinations, Las Vegas, there's all kinds of things. So like I said, combining the two sticker books gives me the effect that I was going for, um, which is awesome. So I'm also pulling in some basic boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans. These are all in her autumn boxes sticker book, um, which I think works really well. I like the dark red. I like the yellow. I think it's a nice pop. And of course the green matches really well with all of the greenery. So I'm going through and making sure there are functional boxes on almost every single day, keeping in mind that I will also have a bunch of bullet points as well. I made the more specific stickers, all of those scene stickers, the background. Then I'm going to go on top with the functional stickers. And then the last little bit will be small detail stickers that will come from the Happy Planner sticker book, which you will see in a moment. One of the benefits of this particular dashboard layout is that you have this whole big dot grid section that you can change up from week to week. I didn't want to fill it up too much because I don't know exactly what Denise is going to want to kind of keep track of over here, but I like the journaling boxes um, here so that she can write out a few of the plans. And then I'm going to leave that space open that you see over there on the left, kind of towards the middle. We're just going to leave that open so that Denise can make it work for her, make it sure it's really fun. Functional. All right, so I'm starting to add some details. We're going to go with bullet points. I added a couple of uh, phrases. We went with Wonder Seeker and Time for an Adventure, which seems like a great, uh, I don't know, it encapsulated what the week is going to be all about. What a fun family vacation, by the way, or family reunion. Um, things to do with everybody. There's not the hustle and bustle of like a Disney World or something like that. Like it's a chance for everyone to actually get to spend time together and talk. I think that is a fabulous idea. All right, making sure we have a little bit more functionality. I'm gonna end up changing out some of these bullet points. Sometimes I struggle with bullet points getting the right colors in the right places. So I'm trying to figure out, I want green right here, but now all of those greens are too close together. They're on the bottom. So I'm gonna to have to move green to the top and switch, take these off. Those are gonna to have to be at the top section. And then I'm gonna to have to put red right there because I never want them right next to each other. It's a weird, it's a weird little dance trying to figure out where all of these colors are going to go. All right, so time for some details. These are some smaller stickers. I have really, really, really been focusing on trying to make sure that all of these spreads have some small detail stickers that I think that really elevates the spread that makes it feel special. All of those details are fun to look at and search for in your planner. And so taking the time to go find those smaller stickers, using the tweezers, getting them down on the page can really make a difference in your spread. That is going to be it for these custom planner spreads. Let me know what you think. Let me know what travels you have planned. It is the season for traveling and I am super excited um, to start documenting all of those travels in my own planner as well. As always, I will link all of the supplies that I use down in the description box below. So be sure to check those out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon family. Thank you all so much for your continued support. If you want to find out more about Patreon, check out the link down below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.